All right, uh, idea for a blog post. Okay, the whole meditation thing. What you want is uh, <clears throat> to be able to control your emotions and to have clarity of thought and be in control of your own mind and your own thoughts so that uh, you can make uh, clearer decisions and pay attention to what's going on around you uh, more uh, carefully uh, and see more details, be more observant, etc., etc., without being interfered or blocked by your own uh, your own whatever, anxiety, nervousness, repetitive thoughts, static in your brain, your electricity, whatever. You want to calm that shit down so that you can feel the uh, external stimulating, in external stimulus more clearly and effectively. So, what meditation does is it forces you to exercise the calming down process. So that when you're sitting there trying to be perfectly still in your body and your minds, you have all the stuff that you think about all the time, you know, coming through your head. But when you're in, during the meditation process, what happens is that it'll stick around for a little while. And then because you're trying to remain calm, it'll, be, it'll all of a sudden disconnect itself and you'll go back to the calm state. So you'll see it more as just a passing thing. Uh, whether it be something that's bothering you, something on your mind, something that's angering you, whatever, it'll just come in, you'll feel it, and then as soon as you remember that you're trying to focus on remaining calm in your breathing, it'll go away. And then it'll make disappear and you'll get back to the state of being still in your mind and body. Then the next thing will come into your head and you'll repeat the process. And things will come in and go out and come in and go out and come in and go out. So be, becoming more aware of that coming in and going out process uh, will help you in your everyday uh, part of your life. You know, when you're not meditating, you're just going through the, uh, the stuff during your day. And then all of a sudden when some kind of uh, unpleasant or stressful thought or whatever, any thought, when anything comes into your mind, instead of that feeling or thought, owning you, you're going to own it so that you can discard it at any moment's notice. You know, instead of it bothering you and uh, repeating on you over and over again for an extended period of time uncontrollably, you'll become now more skilled at putting it aside, containing it, owning it, observing it from a... Um, objective point of view from outside of it and you'll be able to put it away so you become more skilled at doing that through the process of meditation because you're practicing doing it and you're inadvertently creating a skill that you can use during your everyday life to help you calm yourself down and be more uh, in the present moment because once again what it all comes down to is the meditation is bringing you into the moment, into the presence. Because when you're thinking or feeling something, usually, you know, you're someplace else. Your mind is taking you into a memory or you're anticipating the future. Uh, that's usually what it is. It's past, present, or future. We have this thing, you know, so we have to deal with it. The present moment all of a sudden expands. It becomes more lively and interesting because you're able to focus on it better. Therefore, you're able to feel what's going on around you in more depth and more detail. Not only your physical sensations of your sounds, sights, and tastes and smells and all that, but more, most importantly, perhaps more importantly, is your empathy towards other people. You'll become a better listener. You'll be able to hear other people and listen to them better without letting your own thoughts interfere with that. So that's it. I just wanted to record that. Thank you. Bye. See you later.